Hi, it's Randy at Talano.net and you're watching the instructional video for the Fresco Tile Making Kit. This is our first kit that we came out with and it's still going strong today. Reason is, you get to make one of these. This is an 8x8 Fresco Tile. The cool thing is, it comes naked in the kit and you actually get to make the physical tile and then transfer your picture on the surface. So that's what you're going to watch next. Okay, so now you're ready to start your first step, and that's to apply the crackle onto the surface of the tile. What I like to do is I put crackle on the top and on the bottom, and I leave the face clean of crackle because I want to make sure I have a good transfer on the surface. So what I would do is I would just pour a little bit of the crackle on like that, kind of like you're putting toothpaste on a toothbrush, and then just spread it out over the surface so you have a nice milky surface on the top and at the bottom of the tile. Now what I'll do is I'll just let that dry for about... I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes. I'll just wash it. I don't want it to dry completely. I just want it to dry so it looks like dried milk. And then I'll be putting the mud on top of that surface. So now I'm ready to apply some mud. Before I do the mud, I'm just going to show you. The, you can see how the crackle has dried in some areas and it's a little bit milky in others. And that's okay because in those areas, you might get a little bit more deviation of the cracking occurring where the crackle is a little bit more wet and where it's drier, you'll get finer crackles. So the next step here is I'm just going to take a little bit of the mud, fresco mud out of the jar. And I like to use the brush actually to do this because it gets a good scoop out of it and sometimes it's difficult to get the mud out. So anyways, this is a nice way to get it all applied onto the surface. And you're basically going to apply it to all four corners and cover the entire tile. So now I'll take my trowel and almost like you're baking a cake or putting icing on the cake, you just want to make sure that you get a good coverage of the fresco mud over the entire 8 inch square tile. So a little cross back and forth, much like I'm doing right here. And I try to smooth it out as best as possible. I don't want to have any big ridges or creates any canyons in the middle of this tile. If it's on the edges, that's okay. But in the middle, we want to remember, that's where your face or the content of your picture is going. So you want to make sure you try to keep that nice and smooth. So that's all mudded. And now I'm going to let that dry for 20 minutes in the oven at 175 degrees or you can let it dry overnight and it'll crackle on the top and on the bottom. The next step is to put the antiquing glaze on the surface. I have some cracking that's occurred, this tile's dry, and I also have some ridges in the middle. So I want to get rid of the ridges and I want to make sure that I have a smooth surface to put my image transfer onto. So I'm just going to take the sandpaper, I usually fold it over so you have a good little sanding grit. And I just give a light sand to the area where the ridges exist. Sometimes you might want to keep what's on the outer edge, but for me, I always want to have a smooth surface pretty much in the central 80% area right about here. And the dust that I'm creating here, I don't worry about that too much. I'm going to leave that on the surface. So watch what I do. Is I'm going to pour a little bit of the medium onto the surface, kind of like maple syrup on your pancakes on a Saturday morning. And then I take the cheesecloth and work it into the surface. And what you start to see is the distressing that occurs naturally in, in the fresco mud. So now I've got a good coat covering the entire surface and I like to do circular motions because it's kind of uneven that way which is what I want. And then wipe away in the center and give yourself a lighter area in the center and a little bit darker on the edges. That way you get a nice antique distressed looking tile and in some ways it's really kind of the way an old tile would wear in some respects. So this one's turning out quite nice and now I'm just going to let that dry. It takes about an hour to dry and then I'm going to seal the surface of it to make sure it's ready for transferring onto. Okay, this is the next step in which you do a sealer on top of the surface of your image transfer that you're, you've printed off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush in about a half inch in, get a nice liberal amount on and I'm going to brush a nice even strokes right across the surface much like I'm doing right here. And I'll just go over it three or four times and then that's it because you don't want to overwork the image. If you overwork the image, the ink will start to lift. So what I've done is just three or four times, nice even strokes, generous amount, and now you're just going to let it dry for an hour. So that's what you do with the transfer. Then you also take your tile and you want to seal your tile. Always do the image before you do the tile because you might get a little bit of residue dust if you do the tile first and then do the image transfer. So the next step is the exact same thing. Dip in about a half inch and brush on a liberal amount. Here, you know, it's not too bad to have more than more than enough. You just don't want to have any rails, I call them, where they're big drips or gobs. 
but just a nice even coat over the entire surface of the tile. This will ensure that you get a really good transfer onto the surface. So there you go. Now you let that dry for an hour and then you're ready to do the transfer. Now you size your image to fit on the tile. What I've done is I've just already cut my 8x8 shape out perfectly square. And this is the residue left over obviously. But the idea is I can see before I transfer it down what it will look like when I place it on the tile. So I know I have just a little gap running around and I know I can get it square. So that's the most important thing because I don't want to have the image tilted off to the side. At least not in this particular case. So that's what I've done here. So now I'm going to transfer the image onto the surface. Again, take your brush, dip in about half an inch, have a nice liberal amount of medium and make sure that you get a very good coat over the entire surface of the tile. You don't want to leave any areas without any medium because if you don't, the image won't transfer in that area. So that's very important to know. And I also have little cracks from the crackle effect that gives the nice antiquing that occurs. So just make sure that you get a little bit of medium into those cracks because that will pull the image down into those areas as well. So now I'm just going to smooth it out, have a nice even coat over the surface. That looks good. I'll take my image lay it face down and I know it's square because I did that before in the previous step and usually I'll just rub in the middle make sure I've got some contact and then you take your trowel and you push to the outside edge center out center out center out and I do this in a clockwise direction with a pretty firm grip because each time I do this I'm pulling a little bit of medium out onto the surface of the trowel. So that's important to do that. And we're getting a good bond as this kind of pushes down. It's almost like you're putting a piece of bologna onto a piece of bread, but you want a little butter between the two so that it has a little bit of friction and grip. And I can't move this right now, so it's just starting to set up as I do this. And you might see the odd ripple. That's okay. Just run your trowel back over the surface and it'll pull that excess medium out to the edge. So now I know I have a good bond on there, there isn't any ripples, and what will happen is this dries, the image will pull down into the surface. So now we're just going to let that dry for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to use some water to peel the image off. Okay, now the tile is dry, I know my image transfer is on there very nice and tight because I can see there's barely any ripples on the surface, and now I'm ready to peel the image off. So take a little bit of water and apply over the entire surface of the tile, just like you were trying to coat it with water. And what you will see is your image starting to come through. Little white areas like this, that's okay. Just add a little bit more water. Sometimes a little bit of medium will get back on the back side of your paper and it seals it and gives you a little bit of a white holiday there. But just a little bit more water and that helps to activate it. And you'll get sometimes in little areas where little wrinkles start to occur as you apply the water on the surface. So this usually takes about 15 to 20 seconds. So now I know that's ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll pick a corner and then peel. So there you go, it comes off in one sheet. Sometimes it'll rip, you can pull it off in the other sheets as well, but that's a pretty good transfer. So that's what I was looking for. Sometimes after you finish doing the transfer, the water from revealing the paper stays on the surface. So you just wanna wipe that off. What I do is I'll just take a, a little cotton towel or a paper towel and just pounce on the surface to remove any excess water just to make sure that we have a nice dry surface because now we're going to seal the surface of the tile. Okay, so now I'm ready to seal the surface of the tile and just a tip before I do that if you have any edges on the sides that feels kind of rough to your fingers or there's any medium that oozed out on dripped on the edge what you can do is you can take a exacto knife and trim out the edge of the tile before you seal it or you can take a piece of sandpaper and just give a a light buff on the edge to remove any burrs that you don't want. But I already did this before I just did this little clip so we've got a nice clean tile to work with. What I'm going to do now is seal it and this is your basically your last step and you're almost done. Again dip in about a half inch of medium and apply a nice liberal coat over the entire surface of the tile. It'll go on a bit milky and that's okay because it'll dry clear. So if you've got a nice milky surface over the entire tile, you're protecting it with a nice protective coating. And then you're ready to give it away as a nice gift or to put it on display at home and, and do what you like with it. So anyways, there you go. There's your finished tile.